Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. Welcome back to another Class of Fridays, where we're looking at another G.I. Joe Classified Series action figure. This time we're looking at Major Blood. Major Blood was one of my favorite figures from 1984, so I'm very interested to see how they updated the figure for the 6-inch scale. Let's start by looking at the packaging. This is in the Special Missions Cobra Island subset. That was a Target exclusive. We have the G.I. Joe Classified Series logo, Major Blood, and then we have the box art and this classified series box art is a bit hit and miss but this is a hit it looks really nice the art continues to the side and this is great really beautiful this is an awesome interpretation of the mysterious mercenary major blood on the back of the box we have generic cobra island artwork this is not unique to this figure on the other side of the box we see this is number 27 in the series and we have these symbols that represent his specialties this is what we get instead of file cards this symbol means means he loves money to death. This is a compass pointing northeast. This means he is so good at chess he even knows how the horsey pieces move. This is a wrench and a couple gears, which I think means he likes fixing machinery. Let's take the figure out of the box and take a look at Major Blood and his accessories. Here is Major Blood all geared up, and there is a lot here. We are going to look at all of it. Placing the vintage Major Blood action figure next to the classified version, we can see he has a lot of the same features. He has a brown uniform uniform, a black helmet and an eye patch. He has a black robotic arm with a missile firing gun. He has a black armored chest plate and silver dog tags that he took off of his victims. Unlike with the vintage figure, the helmet is removable. That's a separate piece. Looks pretty good. Under the helmet, he has this kind of brown faux hawk style hair and a shock of white hair in the front. He has a black squared off eye patch and scars. This is a really nice head sculpt, very dramatic. The dog tags are a separate piece in silver plastic. They are removable. He has a black rocket pistol. It is very long, but the front end of it is the rocket, which is removable. It just plugs into the barrel like so. When you place the classified accessory side by side with the original, you can see they share a lot of the same details. The rocket tip was not removable on the vintage accessory, but I think this fin here was supposed to be part of the rocket. On the classified accessory, it's part of the gun. On his right leg, he has a pistol in a holster. It is removable. Nice detail on the holster. And that pistol is some kind of revolver. At least it looks like a revolver, but it has a squared off barrel. So I guess it's a laser revolver. Rounding out Major Blood's removable accessories, he has a backpack in black. It pegs onto the figure with one of these standard classified series backpacks pegs. It has a second missile, and that missile is a separate piece and can be removed. There is a second slot on that backpack, so you can place the other rocket on it, and you can store both rockets. There's also a hole on one side, and that fits a peg on the rocket pistol, so you can store the rocket pistol on the backpack. That is storage for all of the weapons, and I greatly appreciate that. This classified backpack is a callback to the vintage backpack, which had extra rockets molded on. Hey, this is weird. You can fit a vintage backpack on a classified figure. It does not work the other way, though. With the accessories out of the way, let's take a look at the articulation for Major Blood. He has excellent articulation, as all classified series figures should. He has good range of motion on the head all the way around and up and down. His shoulders are on a butterfly joint and he can lift his arm at the shoulders not very far and the right arm is hindered a bit by this armor piece. He has a swivel at the upper arms, double jointed elbows. The wrists have a swivel and on the right wrist he has both a swivel and a hinge. He's got a hinge at the rib cage, hindered a bit by this chest piece. He swivels at the torso. He has a good leg split hindered a little bit by this holster piece. Pop his legs back in their sockets and he's got good range of motion at the hip. He's got a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. 
He has a boot cut and hinged and rocker ankles. With the accessories out of the way, let's admire some of the details on this figure. We already looked at the head. The armor plate on the chest is a separate piece in black plastic with some silver buckles, and this is not meant to be removable, but I like that they made it a separate piece. It adds depth and dimension to the figure. His right arm is robotic, and that's a feature that was copied over from the vintage figure. It's black plastic. Well, really, it's more of a gunmetal gray. I call it black, but it's not quite black. Really nice robotics on that right arm. With a robot arm you don't really have to hide the articulation points. On the left arm he has a forearm guard and on his glove there is a tiny cobra emblem. How's that for minutia? His belt and holster are a separate piece. Really nice texture on that. He has a silver belt buckle and silver canisters on his belt. He has brown legs. That's a really dark brown. A darker shade of brown than the vintage figure. Quite a bit dark. And that seems to be a trend with these classified figures. They use the same basic colors as the vintage figures, but they go much darker. He has gunmetal knee pads, and on his boots he has silver shin guards and silver steel toes. These are appropriate for major blood. I like this figure very much. This classified series is doing pretty well. They are giving vintage G.I. Joe fans characters we care about, and not just the main characters. We are now getting pretty deep into the roster. And they are taking advantage of all the extra sculpting and accessories and articulation you can get at this larger scale. That was my review of G.I. Joe Classified Series Major Blood. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We will be looking at G.I. Joe Classified Series figures every Friday. I review vintage G.I. Joe toys every Sunday, and I have a huge back catalog of vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews. Please check that out. Support the channel on Patreon so I can continue doing these videos. You can find me on social media on on Facebook and Twitter, and I have a website, hcc788.com. Thank you for watching. I will be back soon, and until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.